Hello and welcome to Did You Know? I'm your host Sabrina and this is a special episode of St. Albert Fire Services. Did you know that St. Albert has had its own fire services since 1905? That's 114 years! Amazing! This is Firefighter Connor and he will be showing me around today and explaining what it takes to be a firefighter. How long have you been a firefighter? I've been a firefighter for almost three years now. Did you know that there are three fire stations and 110 fire and emergency medical services personnel for St. Albert? And did you know that on average, the fire service deals with approximately 7,700 incidents per year? I'm here with Jeff in the dispatch center. Okay, so this is where we get all our 911 calls or any calls for public works that are after hours or whatnot to dispatch out all our fire trucks and uh, ambulances. So right here you can see the map of the city. We have all the units and all the stations. Um, you can see where they're at at all times, all of our fire trucks. Um, a call comes in, we'll ask them questions as to what locations they're at, what's the nature of their, uh, their call, and then dispatch out the trucks accordingly from there. And when the call comes in, send over fire department. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah, use all. Do you get to drive the fire truck? I do not get to drive the fire truck. Uh, you, uh, it depends about basically your level of training. So generally the longer you've been here, uh, you get more additional training. It's a big responsibility to drive the fire truck mm -hmm. because you have to be safe and you also have to make sure that you're able to quickly and efficiently get water when we need it. Right now, I'm in the biggest fire truck that St. Albert has. Speaking of the water from the fire truck, where do you get all the water from for the fire truck? So, uh, we have a, about, on our engines have about 2,700 liters of water on them. Our tanker has about 13,000 liters. And uh, we can fill them up uh, from fire hydrants. And they access right to the water system, and we hook onto those, and that's how we keep our trucks topped up and ready to fire. Did you know that the three fire stations in St. Albert don't have a fireman's pole to slide down? What's this one? So this is our uh, UTV, and so we use this to access the extensive trail systems that St. Albert has. So, and also any off-road, uh, like wildland fires. So we have the ability to take this and some water and some hose in the back and go fight any uh, brush, grass, wildland type fires. Cool. I also have some safety advice for all you kids out there. Don't play with matches or lighters. Don't leave candles burning unattended. Have an escape plan with your family at home, just like school. Stop, drop and roll if your clothes catch on fire. Get low and get out of there if there's fire or smoke and call 911 once you are safely out. Joke of the day, what kind of crackers do firefighters like in their soup? I don't know. Firecrackers. Did you know that firefighters have less than two minutes to get dressed and prepared to leave for a fire? I don't think my sister could ever be a firefighter. Only two minutes to get dressed and ready? That's crazy fast. No time for hair or makeup. Uh-oh, there's the alarm. Let's see if Connor can get ready in under two minutes. So this is my mask for my self-contained breathing apparatus, which is this right here. It's a compressed air cylinder, which gives us about 45 minutes of breathing air in a fire. So when we get close and we're going to go into an environment that's called immediately dangerous to life or health, or an IDLH environment, we put this on. So it's like this. Do you get nervous entering a fire? 
Sometimes, yeah. It's, uh, it can be a dangerous job, so sometimes you get nervous, but at the same time, you're trained and you're there to help people, so you kind of put that to the back of your mind and you just do your, do your job. What do you like best about your job? I like the fact that I get to help people. As cliche as that sounds, all of us here, we like to help people. We like to make a difference in any way we can, so uh, that's probably the best part about the job. Thank you so much to Firefighter Connor and the St. Albert Fire and Rescue Services for having me visit today. It has been so much fun. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. <laughs>